Last time out, the picturesque Alton Park proved a massive test for the drivers. Some rose to the challenge, where others failed. In race one, it was championship leader Ricky Collard who claimed pole and held the lead off the line. Colton Herter couldn't hang on to second as Tom Randall shot through. Sisu and Gemalana was feeling the pressure further back and made a small mistake into Old Hall Corner. A mayor of Idianapan saw his chance to attack and try to dive through. They locked wheels and Amaya was launched into a terrifying accident. His car spun several times in the air before landing hard back on the track. The race was immediately stopped. The car was a wreck, but the mayor was thankfully OK. The race didn't restart, and victory went to Ricky Collard. Sounds like quite a hefty chunk, so... Um, yeah, obviously it's great to take the win, but I want to dedicate it to him, and I hope he gets well soon. Unbelievably, for race two, a mayor of Idinapan was back, the team having somehow managed to rebuild his car. At the front was Enam Ahmed, and it was a busy start away from the lights. Ahmed kept the lead, and the Snetterton winner was determined to remind everyone he was quick. However, Toby Sowery also wanted a piece of the action. As they ran flat out, there was contact between them. Despite bouncing on the grass, Sowery amazingly hung on to second place, but the officials were looking at Ahmed's driving. Behind, Matthias Leist was on a charge, forcing his way past Jan Jonk, and then an intense battle developed for third between him and his double R teammate Enzo Portoletto, both aiming for a podium finish. For Enam Ahmed, it looked like nothing would get in the way of the win as he tore past the chequered flag. However, as he celebrated, the officials handed him a six-second penalty, putting him down to second place, leading Toby Sauri gain the win. Me and Anam had a bit of contact, which uh, hampered me a little, but, you know, it wasn't anything serious. For race three, it was Ricky Collard back on pole, and again, he made a good start. But it was Tom Randall who almost made it from third to first as he tried to squeeze between the Carlin teammates, Collard and Colton Herter. As the race progressed, Ricky Collard was looking dominant out front, pulling away from the others across the line to take his second win in what had been a near-perfect weekend for him. You don't have weekends like this often, and um, I think at the moment I'm just embracing it. It's been a dominant weekend. So Ricky Collard has grabbed the championship by the scruff of its neck and made it clear he wants it. At the halfway point, it's time for the others to respond.